Hey guys, this is Donald the Model Farm, and today I'll be taking you along on customizing my model house. My final decision of what to customize this house into is a log house instead of the original plan of just an old uh, farm or ranch house or either a newer house. So I decided I'll just customize it into an older log house. Right now what I do is I take this uh, wooden dowel and I cut it enough so it can fit uh, here this way. And then I take, I put it down the middle, and I take this and I saw it down the middle, so I have the two halves for my house. My foot in the stirrup, my pony won't stand. Goodbye, old paint, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. Goodbye, old paint, I'm a leaving Cheyenne. So put it down the middle in here and I take the pins pin it in the pins don't do too much and this part's actually pretty hard but it does get the job done most of the time it always turns out that I have a thin side of the dowel and then a thicker side you can see right here so then I just crack it off. So this thinner side, I'm gonna be using for the small pieces cause it's easier to cut and this thicker side will go on, the thicker side goes where it has to be longer. And then I'll also just cut that to the length I'll need. All pains a good pony, he pays it when he can. So once I super glued that, um, I painted I painted all the window sills white. Uh, the window sills used to be the same color as this yellow. Anyway, so I was just using some of this white paint I got at a train store and just painted um, all of the window sills and and uh, like door frames uh, white. Anyway, so right now I'm gonna be touching up touching up the paint. Uh, I can find a few spots that need some touch up and. Need some more paint. I have a shake before using. Um, I actually used some painter's tape to cover everything. Even though I'm covering it with logs, I thought just in case I wanted to make sure I didn't get too much white on it. And the problem with the plastic, this paint on plastic, I can't really like rub it. I just kind of have to put it on in big globs. Else, um, it just doesn't really show. Looks like I got that one touched up pretty good how I wanted it. Uh, now it's time to touch up some of these. Looks like I got everything painted and fixed up. So right now, um, as you can see, uh, I pre-cut or I cut a lot of these to super glue down on here. But um, anyways, I'm going to paint it a dark brown. So. I was originally going to keep the logs this color, but I decided to paint it a dark brown. And instead of painting it while it's on here, while it's already glued on in here, um, I'm not going to do what I did here, so I don't have to cover up all the windows with paint, uh, with painter's tape and risk getting some of the brown on the white. What I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to pre-paint this already and then super glue it on. So as you can see, I've already painted a few of the logs. Um, already painted a few of the logs to put on the house. Uh, I just found this actually in my in uh, my garage somewhere. It's uh, some, it's just some stain. It is for outside use, but I didn't want to buy either a big thing and only use some of it, or a small thing and buy many small things, small cans of paint. So anyways, yeah, here's, this, uh, here's the brown stain I'm using. This is what it looks like when it's dried. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to be painting these now, and um, yeah, just painting, and uh, then I'll be able to glue them on. 